Making it to the Olympics doesn't just happen overnight. We want to congratulate all the University of Arkansas athletes on their journey. I'm originally from Wichita Falls, Texas. I come from a really big, supportive family. And while at the university, I had a lot of success, especially my senior year. I won multiple SEC championships, a national championship. And I think from there, I always knew it was a dream to go to the Olympics, to compete at the Olympic trials. I competed at my first Olympic trials my sophomore year um, as a Razorback. But after, you know, the big success that I had indoors my senior year, I had a lot of injuries and I essentially was out of the sport for about two years. Uh, I contemplated quitting, not, not competing anymore, but I had a really strong support system. Coach Johnson was always in my corner, my family, my friends, and they knew that this was a goal that I've always wanted to obtain. And so I made the decision to just Let's, let's give it one more go round. Uh, COVID hit and unfortunately, you know, that put everybody in a different position than we were used to, but I was healthy for the first time in about two and a half years. So I competed during the COVID year. I've had a healthy 2021 season and I'm in the best shape of my life. I have always loved to run as a little girl at recess or after school with, with my brother. I would race his friends and I would beat his friends and they would call me Roadrunner. And um, my whole family loves sports and my grandparents uh, love track and field and my mom was a sprinter as well and a 400, 400 meter runner and a hurdler. And um, her relay team got fourth in state in California and so her love for running sparked my interest. And ever since I started it in middle school. I've just fell in love with the team atmosphere and surrounding myself with such great people and my best friends. And I can't imagine not running. I guess like kind of a go big or go home mindset, you know, like you fully immerse yourself in what you're doing. And um, for me, that includes like doing all the little things and like, you know, like taking like the little steps to reach your big goals. And so I think that's something that will help me like later on in life with whatever I want to do. You have to, you, there's so many different aspects of training. It's not just event oriented. It's not just uh, uh, learning each event. It's also being able to sprint, be able to jump, be able to run distance. It's just a combination of every event. So it's, it's very taxing um, on the body within training. And with that comes injury. So I think one of the biggest things for me has probably been injury uh, and really uh, learning, learning my body, knowing when I need to do a hard workout, when I need to say, hey, today's not the day. So it's just, just been learning my body and, and uh, pushing through injuries and, and working past injury. You know, I guess it kind of all started in high school. I fell in love with running junior year and just wanted to do nothing but run, run 60 miles a week, just with my friends, with my teammates. Um, I was loving it. Um, did end with a navicular stress fracture. Um, didn't get the surgery in high school because it was my first ever, I didn't know what to do. But kind of came back from that. It was still lingering when I came here freshman year. Um, it ended up, I guess, refracturing. So I got the surgery. They were help so helpful with my rehab um, and getting back. But that took me about all of freshman year. So that was a big freshman year experience. But I think it taught me um, kind of who I was here and my goals here because it was not fun to be sidelined. Last year I just decided to just reset everything um, and COVID really helped me for that personally I guess. That little break um, I just needed to reset um, and get my head screwed on straight.